Hey, what's up? This is Tony. I go by the name 96. Uh, I started a music label underground called Double Fisted Music. And I'm just going to run you through my studio real quick because I've been watching YouTube a lot. Thank you, YouTube, because a lot of guys that got like the MPC and Pro Tools and stuff like that. I've been going online, Googling and searching and seeing how you guys got it set up. I really appreciate it. So I'm going to run through some of my studio equipment so that if you guys have any questions on how to work on things or how to troubleshoot you're having a problem, just give me, drop me an email, man. I'll check that and I'll get right back to you. I love helping people out because I appreciate being helped. I'm going to run through the way I got my studio real quick. Uh, I got my keyboard here, the Roland XP80. I've had this for like five, maybe seven years. Uh, it cost me a grip when I bought it because back then I didn't have very much money. Not that I'm rich now, but I really didn't have anything because I was coming out of high school. Uh, this is what I use basically to, to activate uh, all my sound modules and even my MPC. Uh, so I got that basically hooked into my uh, DigiDesign 003 rack. Uh, this is coming out of my uh, keyboard into this rack. That, and anything coming out of my rack, I got a daisy chain through it. I go up to uh, this MoFat um, sound module here. Uh, and it goes daisy chains out of that output of this into the extreme. Out of the extreme into the Proteus. And that's where it is right there. I basically got all of these sound models routed out into my uh, Mac E32 track mixer. I didn't buy anything brand new. Nothing you see here is brand new. I either bargain hunted on Craigslist, on eBay, or just word of mouth. Uh, everything is basically frugal. I couldn't really afford to go buy everything new. And that's basically what I'm used to working with. You know, I gotta, gotta do with what I gotta do. But um, I got my hands on this MPC last year, and it sat here pretty much a long time because it, it seemed pretty complicated to me, and, and mainly I was just trying to work with Pro Tools and get songs written on Pro Tools and, and learn how to basically work Pro Tools. I really have time for this, but recently I really dug into this, and I love this. So if you guys can go on Craigslist, because these things usually run about 500 You can get them for a pretty good price. I got lucky and got this one for really cheap. It came with the 8-out expansion board. Uh, I got down here, if you look down here below, I got a zip drive hooked to my MPC and another zip drive hooked to my computer so I could basically drag and drop any kind of sample on uh, a song and I can upload my MPC and chop it up. And if you need help with chopping up, let me know. Uh, so basically this is what routes everything to it right here. I got all my equipment running through this Mac keyboard and out of this Mac keyboard I had to bust down to go right into my, uh, my inputs on my 003 rack and basically I use Pro Tools for everything. Um, and this is another uh, new addition to the to the studio family here. It's the Avalon 733. I'm sorry, 737 SP. And uh, I read a lot about it. There's a lot of pros and cons I read about it. But in my opinion, it took my crappy microphone, which I thought was crappy, and added a lot of warmth to it, and basically made it really crystal clear. So I'm really happy about that. Down here, I got a list a Lisa's Mini Bird 4 that I don't really use. If anybody's in the, in the market for one, let me know. I also got a uh, Sonic Maximizer, which is pretty much useless to me too. Don't need that. A Gemini CD player. I mean, they all work. Sometimes I kind of play with them just for different options, but I really don't need them. And down here below, in case of emergencies, I got a Mackie. You can see down here, a 1202 VLZ mixer. That's in case anything goes wrong, I got a little backup plan because you never know what will happen when you're right in the middle of a project. And up here up top, the, the monitor, I've got my uh, Alesis M1 Active monitors. I've had those for a long time. I'm thinking about grabbing some of those new Mackies. I think they're called uh, the R5s or MR5s or whatnot. Those are supposed to be good ones. They're like 400 bucks a pair. And i got two sets of these babies. These are the um, Audio Technica. They were pretty good. Got too much bass in them, but yeah, I've learned to manipulate it. And on this side, I'm going to show you real quick my homemade sound booth. I hope you guys appreciate the old closet sound booth. I know a lot of guys use them. I use them. You know, I see about getting one of those bass uh, reflectors, but they're like $300, and I can find my money useful in those other places. But here's my old school mic right here, the E200. I'm going to upgrade to a U87 soon. But uh, those are grip. Everybody knows that. But um, that's pretty much it. It's the rundown. I'm going to hit play, and uh, I just made a beat here real quick. But uh, this is not really my style, but I, you know, we got to stay versatile for our clients. So. I made this on the MPC. Basically, upload it onto a. Uh, Check out some 
more of my sounds, you can find me on myspace.com forward slash double fisted nine six. That's D O U B L E F I S T E N I N E 